Assalamu alaikum and good day to everyone who's watching this video. I'm going to talk about an interesting compound today. But before that, do you know that bacteria is actually one of the ancient organisms in this world? How can that microscopic organism survive up until now? My name is Nordalena, bachelor's degree in chemistry forensic analysis students, and I'm going to present them to you the synthesis and structural characterization of tridentate shift base and their manganese and zinc complexes. Shift base was first reported back at 1864 by Hugh Schiff, a German chemist, hence the names. It is also known as azomethine, uh, imine, or anils. This is the structural formula of the azomethine linkage or also known as shift base. Shift base is a um, condensation reaction product between primary amine with carbonyl uh, compound that is um, it can be aldehyde or ketone. According to Tadavi et al, um, shift base is a good chelating agent where due to the presence of nitrogen atoms of azomethine group okay, which it be, it can be enhanced with the presence of uh, donor atom. Shift base also can coordinate and form a stable complex with various transition metals or rare, rare earth metal uh, in various oxidation states, which this contributes to the significant biological fields um, such as the production of anti-cancer, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antimiltic, antimintic, antifungal and antioxidant. Moving on to the problem statement. The reason behind the survival of the bacteria lies with the adaptability and ability to resist existing antibiotic and the changes in their environment. Thus, demands of a new drugs to inhibit the multi-drug resistance of bacteria are increasing. Hence, this study will propose um, the synthesis of new shift base and their metal complexes. The objective of this study is to synthesis two tridentate shift base derived from two acetylpyridine and their manganese and zinc complexes. The second objective is to characterize the synthesized product or compound using elemental analysis, melting point, um, FTIR, NMR, UVVs, and also magnetic moment. The significance of this study is that it can provide data for uh, future developments of antibacterial agent and also serve as a comparative data in the future research. This is to combat uh, the rise of a new disease due to the bacterial resistance towards antibiotics. Scopes and limitations of this study lie within the uh, synthesis of ligand 1, ligand 2 and their metal complexes which is manganese and zinc as their metal centers. The characterization will be using elemental analysis, uh, melting point, FTIR, NMR, UVVs and also magnetic moment. In literature review of shift picks, according to Venetia et al, shift picks, uh, ligand provide a great platform in coordination chemistry in developing numerous ligand systems with controllable binding to metal iron, which plays a vital part, uh, vital roles due to the direct synthesis and also the ease of variation. Karam et al. reported that shift based compounds compose important class of ligand with a variety of donor uh, don atoms exhibiting interesting coordination modes with um, transition uh, metals. Continuing with the shift based complexes uh, literature review, where the shift based complexes can be prepared by reacting the ligand and the metal salts, which their applications um, greatly depends on the active group present. The metal atoms coordinates to the shift base through the uh, sharing of nitrogen lone pair uh, in dative manners. According to Baron et al, 
uh, this thing can affect the physical properties of the shift face. For characterization, the characterization is done to elucidate the physical structures and chemical properties of the shift base and metal complexes. This is done to um, confirm whether the compound produced is identical as the theoretical compound or not. The compound will characterize uh, by several methods such as elemental analysis, melting point, FTIR, NMR, UVVs, and magnetic moment. Elemental analysis was done to determine the compositions of the uh, uh, of the compounds. The melting point is for the uh, purity of the compounds, FTIR for the presence of the functional group, NMR the compositions or <laughs> to elucidate the physical structures and UVVs and also the magnetic moments is for the geometrical um, determinations. Okay, moving on to the methodology, the synthesis of ligand 1 and ligand 2 were done by using an equimular of 2 acetylpyridine and 2 hydroxybenzohydroxide for ligand 2 while benzohydroxide for uh, ligand 1. The uh, procedure for, li for synthesis of ligand 1 and ligand 2 are using the same procedure where, it will, uh, where the mixture of starting material will be mixed in methanol and reflux for 4 hours before it will left to cool at room temperature and filter and then wash and then it will be uh, left to dry under the fume hood before it will be collected to be wet. The synthesis of metal complexes was done in a similar manner as the ligand uh, as the productions of their ligands. Metal complexes were using metal salts and ligands of interest as their starting material. For example, magnesium ligand 1 was synthesized by mixing 0.5 millimolar of um, magnesium salts and 1 millimolar of, of synthesized ligand 1 in methanol. Then with, with flux for 4 hours, um, which after the reflux has finished, it was left to recrystallize overnight before the filtration, washing, drying and weighing process takes place. These steps are the same um, for the uh, zinc complexes uh, synthesis. These are the instrumentations that I were using for the characterizations and the analysis of the ligand and their metal complexes. The recommendation on this study First recommendation is by using ethanol as solvent instead of methanol and using microwave irradiation method rather than conventional um, condensation for ligand and their complex synthesization. This method, that is a microwave irradiation method, are able to increase the percentage yield while using lower solvent usage. The second recommendation is by implementing a vacuum filtration method and vacuum drying technique. This is to reduce the time consumption and also um, to uh, extract um, excess, uh, excess moisture and really dry it more effectively. The third, uh, the third and the last recommendation is by characterize the crystallized uh, product by using X-ray crystallography. X-ray crystallography uh, produces two-dimensional image of three-dimensional structure of a sample. So it also provides um, precise new molecules, structure informations at atomic level. And that's all from me. Thank you.